NRL.com is here with Sean Tim and Sean, nice to be out here at ANZ Stadium rubbing shoulders with all the legends again. Yeah, great day. Uh, see some of the boys that we got to play with and a few older guys, Benny Elias and Freddie and them guys. So, uh, great day. Uh, a few of us were a bit rusty out there, but uh, it's always good. It's nice and sunny out there and uh, great to get back on uh, ANZ Stadium over run around. Bringing back some memories for you? Yeah, it is a little bit. Uh, been in the sheds, getting changed before the game. It uh, was a bit more relaxed today than it is normally before an Origin. So, no, it's just great to be back and being part of and, and catching up with some of the players that we got to play Origin with. It's always, uh, you got mates for life and it's good to catch up with them and then run around today with some of the Blatchy Blues who are great supportive, supporters of ours and we see them at games and uh, it was great to get a bit of a run with them. Um, obviously the hype's building now, a few weeks away. Do you still feel that excitement building as you're heading to Origin? Yeah, for sure. It's getting closer and uh, obviously all the talks, yeah, there's a lot of talk at the moment about the Blues squad. There's a lot of injuries and suspensions, but it always seems to build up and I uh, get really excited as a former player now, as a fan, to watch it. And uh, can't wait for Origin 1 to come around and uh, I'm sure Laurie Dale has got a few headaches uh, in the next couple of weeks trying to pick his side. Also, Origin heads to the MCG this year. What do you think about that? An awesome stadium and venue there? Yeah, it'll be great uh, great at the MCG. I've never been there to an Origin, so I'm sure it'll get it packed out. I think it gets around 90-odd thousand, so it should be huge down there. Hopefully the Blues can win here at uh, Game 1 and head down there and wrap it up. But it'll be a great experience. I'm heading down myself with the Dragons, so looking forward to uh, going down and watching uh, a great spectacle. Let's talk about the Dragons contingent. Um, obviously a few guys in the mix there, but an injury cloud um, looming over Josh Dugan. Yeah, Josh Dugan had a bit of an injury in the uh, the test match on the weekend. I think he may miss a week or two, so hopefully he may be right for the origin. Obviously Trent Merrin, I think, will be a, a certain starter in the squad somewhere. And someone like Joel Thompson and Tyson Brazil are playing really good footy at the moment, so I'm sure they'll they'll be putting their hands up and trying to impress the next couple of weeks, especially with a, a couple of injuries to Gallon and Bird. So I'm sure that uh, it's in the back of their minds, and if they can perfor perform well, they may find themselves a spot in the squad. Talk us through Josh and Tyson, what do you think they'd bring to the Origin stage? Well they're both, both pretty aggressive, uh, the style of footy would probably suit them. Uh, Jolie Thompson, he, yeah, he, likes to, he's a, he can play centre and back row so he's got a bit of utility and Tyson's a, a good back row too so they've got uh, plenty of aggression about them and I'm sure the Origin footy would suit them. What do you think about some of the other selections? Um, the halves obviously, that's a, a big one for Laurie Daly with all the talk around Josh Reynolds and, and Trent Hodkinson. Who do you think is going to be there? Um, personally, I think Mitchell Pearce might, might be there. I think he's probably been the form halfback of the comp so far. There's been a lot of talk about him. Maybe Josh Reynolds, but uh, he's, he's been sort of in and out, a couple of suspensions. But yeah, I'm not too sure whether Laurie will, Laurie will stick solid with what he had last year. They won him the series, but I just think Mitchell Pearce is probably the man to, uh, to lead us into this series. And the fullback spot, we spoke about Josh Dugan. Um, if he wasn't there, who would you like to see? Yeah, it's a tough one. Uh, obviously, Dugan, you've got guys like uh, Matty Moylan, Brett Stewart, who's been there before, and Tedesco. So there's a couple of options there. At the moment, oh yeah, I'd hate to be Laurie because I don't know who I'd pick. But the good thing is we've got, we've got a couple of options. So uh, if Dugan's not fit, we've got a couple of young, really good guys that, will, that are willing to do it, and I'm sure they'll do, do a good job. Regardless of who's there, it's always an exciting spectacle. Um, what do you like about Origin and, and being a spectator of the sport now? Just the whole build-up. Uh, the whole build-up's always fantastic. It uh, takes a couple of weeks. And then coming to the game, just the atmosphere and uh, just even on the TV now, what they bring across on the TV, it's just great to watch. And uh, as a fan, yeah, I just love sitting back and, and watching it. It's, uh, it's fantastic. What's your most fond memory of, of playing Origin? I could probably pick it myself, but what is it? Yeah, well everyone probably think the field goal, which it probably was, but uh, playing in all origins, uh, just getting to play with guys like Joey, Freddie, and that was just always a dream come true for me to play origin. And obviously here in 2004 to uh, kick the winning field goal in uh, the first Golden Point game of, uh, that they ever had in origin was uh, a pretty special moment and one I uh, never forget. So it brought back a few memories today being out here, so it's uh, always good to come here. That was only your second field goal too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I wasn't a real good kicker, so it uh, was a bit of a fluke, but uh, yeah, I've, I've claimed it and uh, keep running with it. Looking at how different the game is now, is it something that you'd like to be a part of, just to test yourself one more time? Oh, obviously, yeah, I don't think I'd be able to handle it now, but uh, yeah, always around origin times, that's when you think, geez, I'd love to play. Just the, the uh, yeah, running out and seeing the boys listen to the national anthem, and uh, it's as it's the pinnacle of rugby league, and it was always something I dreamt of doing and was lucky enough to play to nine origins. So, uh, yeah, I'd love to do it again, but I don't think I'd be able to walk for a while after it. And do you think the Blues have it in them to make it back-to-back -back or are Queensland going to take it off them again? Well, I think they do, but it's going to be very tough. We've seen the last game last year, Queensland fought back and give them a bit of a touch-up. So, And they've pretty much got the same squad. So uh, New South Wales will be up for it. I think we can win it, but we're going to have to play really well like we did last year in them first two games to try and because Queensland will be pretty hungry after getting done last year. So I think we can do it and uh, I'm sure we've got the players and the mentality there that Laurie's set in place so we can get a win.